Hi everyone, uh, this video will discuss how to perform ANOVA analysis in Stata, how to do post hoc analysis, in, and uh, how to using regression to do uh, ANOVA. So first we start by discussing a little bit about the intuition of running ANOVA test. Say you have an uh, original variable that takes more than two values say race, then you will have a difference between white and black, white and Hispanic, white and Asian, so on and so forth. So when can you say that the race as a as a variable is have a significant impact on your outcome variable? You can't really on, only rely on the pairwise t-test because it could be the case that some are significant and some are not, then how do you decide? That is when the analysis of variance becomes really convenient. Uh, this is a re really rough sc stretch, uh, scratch of what ANOVA did. If you are interested in learning more about ANOVA, you should go online and Google it. This video is only going to deal with the uh, techni technicality of how to run that in Stata. I'm using a simulated dataset of income, um, and the dataset is available online on this link. So, in the dataset, I'm going to analyze the impact of race on the income. The classification of the dataset is that white Asian earn the same, black Hispanic earn the same, but white and Asian will earn more than Hispanic. So if the analysis went through, we should expect to see that the race as a whole is makes significant difference, and uh, we sh w we are expecting to see that in the pairwise comparison, white and Asian should have no difference, and so are uh, black and Hispanic, but there should be difference between the two groups. Okay, Running ANOVA is actually quite easy in Stata. You can just type in outcome variable and uh, your predictor. The, um, the now hypothesis is that there is no difference in the outcome variable among different values of the predictor. In this case, there is no difference in income among different ethnic groups. ANOVA, what ANOVA did is it decomposed the variance of the outcome variable into residual and your mo the, the model part. If the model part explain large enough of the, of the variance of the outcome variable, uh, ANOVA will to decide that the null hypothesis is rejected and in favor of the alternative hypothesis that there are difference in the mean among different ethnic groups. So the p-value for rejecting the null hypothesis is re reported here. So because we are simulated the data set, so it's not surprising that the rates come out as significant. The next step is we're going to do uh, at post hoc a test between different pairs. So we are going to using so-called one-way post hoc test. For more on um, this topic, please Google the the following video, and I'm post post a link uh, here. Without going to details, it's sufficient to say that here the Stata reporting a matrix table for all the pairwise uh, com comparison. So the when we do the pairwise comparison in this case, we should have a four by four table. However, we can uh, get rid of most of the entry. Because for the for because all the diagonal terms, which is uh, self-comparison, 
has no meaning because the difference will be exactly zero. The two off diagonal part are symmetric with only a difference of sign. So here we are compare compare the mean of black with the mean of white. And here we'll compare the mean of white with the mean of black. So it is sufficient just to only reporting the lower diagonal of the this four by four table. And then that is exactly what state are reporting here. So here state are reporting that black earn less than white, Hispanic earn less than white, which are significant. Asian earn almost the same as white, which is not significant. And black earn almost the same as Hispanic. And Asian is earn more than black and earn more than Hispanic. This is exactly how the data is simulated. So it works out pretty well. At the end of the video, I want to introduce a different way of doing ANOVA analysis is just by running regression. So we can run a univariate regression with log with outcome variable and the predictive variable by using i dot to indicate that the race is an ordinal variable whose value has no intrinsic meaning other than separating different items apart. If we compare the decomposition of the variance and the p-value and the f-statistics, we'll find that they are exactly the same as you do ANOVA test. I recommend re uh, using regression analysis because in regression analysis you can do lots of expansion that m will enable you to make weaker assumption about the data set. Thank you very much.